G'day guys and welcome back to episode number 8 of Samoa Journey on Football Manager 2016. It's our birdie. G'day, how you guys going? And today we are starting World Cup qualifiers. Yes, World Cup qualifying starts. In fact, it's already started, you know, after our performance in the OFC Nations Cup. Um, and yeah, just uh, World Cup qualifying has started. Um, and pardon if there's a noise in the background, it's just a dog here. Um, but yeah, so after our performance in the Nations Cup, we're on to the next round of World Cup qualifying. So um, yeah, so we'll just get into the fixtures, also some squad news. Um, and yeah, we'll get into it now. Um, so this is the World Cup qualifying. Um, as you can see, we're actually off to a really good start. 3-1. Uh, um, I just want you guys to ignore all this neutral venues because it is a home and away. Um, it must be a bug or something in the game because I have seen that it, it is home and away. So, the first game was a 3-1 home victory over Solomon Islands. Uh, the team were playing today. Uh, a very impressive performance. I was really happy with it. Um, you know, it was one all before we kind of just took it over in the end and and got the three points and the big thing about this was because we did it without Kale. Timmy was out with a suspension and uh, <laughs> you know three shots three goals so the quality of shooting on target wasn't there but um, nonetheless three points is three points and I was really happy about it um, and then um, we got a nil nil draw against New Caledonia um, very good result as well, and uh, yeah, I thought our defensive game was actually spot on. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, we didn't really. You know, obviously, we got a bit more shots on target. They got seven, but you know, sure they had some shots, but we did a good job keeping on the side. And um, you know, New Caledonia, um, actually, my personal side, I'm managing with them, so um, you know, they're they're a quality side in Oceania. Um, and you know they're big guys, uh, Georges Gope, Felipe, uh, playing in Belgium now in this save, uh, Wesley Lautoa, uh, two quality players in Oceania. So, um, but Ziola luckily wasn't wasn't in the squad here, so was lucky with that. But yeah, you know, so that was uh, you know a nil nil game in you know a, a way fixture. So. <clears throat> so yeah, I was really happy about the result, and um, actually, pardon me, it was a home game. Never mind, it was played in Appia, so obviously not getting three points, but you know, a draw is still okay. So, you know, our next two games are going to be on the road. I just want you guys to ignore all these. So, this is how the group's looking. You know, we're up four points with New Caledonia. So, um. So yeah, realistically, uh, you know, we got we got to get a win here against obviously Solomon Islands, because um, then if we just get a draw against New Caledonia, we book our spot in that top spot. So, <clears throat> so yeah, this is going to be a difficult game, uh, no doubt about it. Um, so yeah, that's the group. Uh, we'll just show here how New Zealand's doing the others, and they're really cruising. Um, so. <laughs> Now, if we finish first, it looks like um, actually it looks like Fiji had the the lead there in that game, but um, yeah, it looks like uh, whoever finishes third first in our group will be having New Zealand unless you know they slip up the next two games, which you know looks highly undoubting. So um, so yeah, that's the the qualifying at this stage. Um, we'll just go into two of the other fix, uh, friendlies I played. And yeah, after uh, the New Zealand result, uh, we did have two friendlies against uh, Asian opposition. Um, and yeah, it uh, just checking to see the time. Sorry, guys. I was just uh, yeah, it wasn't a good performance at all. Three one away to Turkmenistan, Kale with the own goal, and then a two nil home loss to Chinese Taipei. Yeah, so it's not good. Um, you know, I'm I'm starting to feel well, like I said before, um, Oceania is the better place for me. <laughs> you know, you look at all these. Let's look at all these games outside of Oceania. My small this time, East Timor, Saint Lucia. There's one win against an outsider. Um, Montserrat. 
uh, I guess a draw, Swaziland, Belize, Pakistan. Yeah, it's pretty bad outside of it, so. Uh, Sri Lanka, we got to win another one there, Brunei. Yeah. <laughs> so. So, yeah. But that's it. So, those were the fixtures. So, we're getting this game now against the Solomon Islands. Um, you know, this is the, res the squad I went in last game. Um, you know, we did actually have an injury to one of our center backs. So, that's a big loss. So, I had to call someone else in. Um, this guy brought in 20 year old. Uh, a region. I just look at the tackling, look at that. So he's a good defensive midfielder. But we're going to have to bring in one of our. Uh, I'm thinking I'll bring. Hamilton Palmer, or else we could bring in Tony Sali into this position. Put Pupai there. And we could we could put in Totu right away. But Andy Young, he seems to be the better plot now. More experienced type player. Yeah, I'll bring in Andy Young. In tow too. <clears throat> Put some experience in. Um, and yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the squad I started with against uh, New Caledonia. You know, I did a really good job um, playing against that sort of position. So. So we got Solomon Islands here now. Obviously a win would be absolutely massive for a game like this. But um, you now we are the favorites considering you know, it's being away. And they're going in with a 4-3-3. <clears throat> These Bebo brothers are, are really quality players. Um, there are two of them I believe. but Dennis Bebo. There was another one. Be on the bench. There's another one. He's a goalkeeper. There were two Bebo brothers though. But yeah, but the good thing is um, they're missing their best player, Benjamin Totori. Uh, he's he's a really quality player actually. Um, but yeah, they're missing him. Martin Amoy. Now he looks like he's going to be pushed up a bit, so I'll close him down. Um, we'll go into that with that position. So, <clears throat> say good luck. We're going to need it. And I'll just put this on uh, 2D and take sound off. Since I like playing in 3D, I prefer it to be honest. So, here we go against Solomon Islands. Um. Yeah, like I say, uh, you know, a win would be massive here. But here's Appy Amalu, early chance, and it's over top. So that was a good start. But yeah, you know, a draw or, or a win would be good in this. Um, a loss wouldn't be too, too, you know, panicky. But, you know, it would be, um, you know, putting us behind a bit of the eight ball against New Caledonia, which means that game against New Caledonia, we would definitely need to win that game. So, you know, a loss isn't. Ideal, but it is still doable if we do lose this game. Um, yeah, so first 14 minutes, nothing too going really. <clears throat> That's not good from Poopai, so we'll just go retain possession. And here's a Moy with a cross in. So, yeah, you can already see a Moy is going to be pushing out a bit to get those crosses in. So, that's something. We really need to look out for. Here's Malu. Good cross out. Here's John A. Hall. Is blocked from Amoy. Here's Malu. Here's Hall. Cross it in, bud. Here's Talia with the cross. And there's a goal. Come on. Jay Ingham scores. And you Samoa are up 1 0. And that's a great start. You know, it looks like it is raining there, so, you know, maybe more direct. But, yeah, that's a good cross in. That's obviously pretty shambles by the goalkeeper. You should have really had that. But Jay Ingham, really happy that he's, you know, and that was lucky by them. But really happy he's uh, dedicated his national services. Ah, and they score right away. So, Nelson Kenny. 
So, you know, we get the goal right away and then they answer back on a, on a corner. And how did this, you know, two of our guys are there. Come on, guys. Oh, that's pretty shambles. That's poor defense. And one of them was Kyle. You know, you got to be better than that. So three goals, or two goals in three minutes. And there's a cross. Here's Malu answers back. Apatia Malu. And another good cross into the box. And goals coming galore now. Nil-nil in the last game against New Caledonia. And that's a good ball in. And a, just a tap in there for Malu. I actually really like Malu. I think if there's one Samoan player that I really like, you know, that's really impressed me on the safe, I think it's a party of Malu. You know, he's, you know, just, he does, he reads, he, I mean, he, for this level, he, he really re, um, leads the line really well. And he's a defensive forward. And, you know, just, you know, how I've always been in football manager, you know, I really kind of prefer the, um, you know, the defensive approach. You know, I just like playing defense, and uh, you know, obviously with a defensive forward, um, you know, I kind of prefer it. It's really effective. But here's Kale. Good through ball to Malu, and he put it wide. That would have been fantastic if he'd score there. <clears throat> but we are do have a two-one victory lead here, so this is some good stuff. Come on, let's get a late one here. Here's Malu. There's a cross in. Ingham's there. And he scores. Come on. His second goal of the game. And it's 3-1 Samoa. Yeah. That's what it, That's a massive goal before halftime. And another great cross in. And Ingham kind of just floated over the goalkeeper. Now that's good playing. And Talif Talifi on that side. A Talili, Tali look at that three assists, assisted on all three goals. So this is a good start. This is great. Three-one lead at half time. So we know that they're going to be pushing up a bit more. So you know, Amoy is going to be getting the crosses in. Let's look at the the player stats here for Solomon Islands. And yeah, Martin Amoy, eight crosses. Barry Cedar. So it looks like he's an AMC kind of being played on the outside. But yeah, look at that. Amoy with eight uh, crosses. But how many is he connected with? We do him have, <clears throat> pardon me. We do have him out on closing down. So yeah, it looks like he's got eight crosses, one completed. So that's, I mean, that's, that's great. And let's look at ours. Look at that. Three crosses. The five crosses, three completed from Talil. Or Talilai. That's great as well. All three of them have connected for goals. So that's a good start. Let's go to team talk. We already did. So we got a 3 1 lead here. In going into the second half. Um, and yeah, it's been really good performance here. Jay Ingham. Jang and playing fantastic as well. We got a corner here. This would be the good stuff. Ingham was there. Was the ball cleared out? Nine shots to four. <laughs> All three of ours have been a goals, so that's okay. And looks like got another one here. Here's Ingham in. Tried looking for Malu again. Here's Hull. John A. Hall shot was blocked. Here's Malu, and he put it over top. So they have made a tactical change here. They brought off Joe Wayne, so it looks like Mr. Tana is also going to be pushed up a bit. So we're going to have to close him down as well. I personally think that the fullbacks are more like wingers as well. So when they're coming forward, it's almost like five guys coming up top. But here's Amoy. Close him down. No one was really closing him. That's a good stop from Noel. 
Yep, sorry mate. Just a dog here that um So this has been a good start to the second half. Uh fifteen minutes. Here's Ingham, that's a good ball. Here's a party of Malu. Get beaten to the ball. <clears throat> Here's John A. Hall. That's a good ball. Here's Ingham. And a great save by Rukamina. Rukamana. I can say it right. Yeah, you kind of saw Ingham come crumbling down on that far side. But yeah, look at the rating for Talai. That's, that's fantastic, 9 rating. Opposition here. So it looks like they're changing up their center players. Brian Leo. Defensive mid. Mm. Maybe we'll just leave it on weaker foot. I don't really want to. Because we do have a couple of players that do have red cards. Or, you know, on yellow cards. So they'll be missing the next game if they get another one. Um, we are at the time where we could change. Uh, John A. Hall has been, he's been okay, but. You could probably get a bit better from him, so this is actually a seventeen year old that I've bled into the squad and I'm gonna bring him on. Seventeen, he's got you know, he was a really high potential player for the national pool. So I'm I'm just sticking him in already. You know, I kinda of look more of that crossing and the acceleration. And the free kicks are also there. His PO, his KL, his Andy Young shot was blocked. I'm really pleased with this because we actually get more opportunities. You know, more of the ball. Oh, and it was put over top by Pupe. We don't want to get too, too complacent. But Ingham's been fantastic. And that's why if we want to have a chance of getting a World Cup, you know, Ingham and Kale are going to have to be on their games pretty much every game. And John A. Pupe, he's actually a really good. Uh, personally, he could probably play in, uh, you know, like li lower league England. If he, you know, I'll show his stats in a moment. But yeah, he gets beaten there. But he comes back and he forces the player to make a, a, a rough shot. But yeah, look at John A. Pupe. You know, that's like pretty decent stats for like, you know, lower league England. You know, that's pretty decent. You know, first, uh, player 22 years of age that has double figures for heading and marking obviously his bravery and his jumping reach can do a bit better but he is a tall player and yes you look at that four and a half so he's our one of my main guys he is six foot so yeah, I just see that that he could play in that that role there at some of those clubs but we'll bring on Daniel Malu put in another target man type Paddy Amalu has been playing fantastic again. <clears throat> Lapa Lapa. That's a dangerous pass, but he got it through. That's a good ball from Matai. Here's Ingham. Daniel Malu in behind the defense for a target man. Shot was blocked. Ingham. Looks like he over ran it there. Let's go concentrate. Here's Amoy with a cross in, and there's a goal. So everything is being run from Amoy, and it's Nelson Kenny again. So now we got a game on our hands, and I'm surprised. You know, we have Amoy on closed down, but and Tony Sali looks like he just muffed the header. So this is take that off. But this is a bit concerning now. That's a good play from Lapa Lapa. Here's Andy Young. Got a guy out in the far flanks, but instead he goes up the middle. And there's Amoy again. He's been fantastic for him. <clears throat> I'd say he's been their player of the game, Amoy. Here's Matagay. 
Talil, Malu, here's Kyle, it's another good ball out to Malu, he beats his man to it, and there's a cross, here's Kyle, and a great stop by Rukamana, that was probably a header from Kyle, he almost had it, so I think we'll do one more sub here, And we could either bring on a bit more experience, Kale Tua. He actually did score last game against Solomon Islands. Or he could bring on the new guy, Teravino Totu. For, um... You know what? I think I'm going to do that. And do I want to take Timmy off? Or Peel? We'll take Freddie Peel off. And we'll play him as a uh, ball-winning midfielder. I'll drop Timmy down to just uh, central midfield. I'm going to have to change something up here though. Tim, we'll just do a few risky passes. Just want Timmy to do, do uh, you know, easy plays. Nothing really too or out of the ordinary to give balls away. So it's a new cap again for another player. Um, we will go on defensive. Waste time. Play narrower. We'll just drop back two a bit. And, and we'll leave it at that. Because this is, you know, holding 3 2. Let's go tighten up. So we got the ball in their own zone here. Here's Talai. Tried looking for the youngster. Here's Kyle. Totu. Andy Young. <clears throat> I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> what happened? Looks like it went f speed ahead or something. But we got one minute left of added time. And if we could just hold on here for this victory. Yeah. And Talil's been fantastic as well. And it's a goal kick. So that looks like it should do it. Or else one more ch oh, yeah, we missed it. That was lucky. But there it is. Good win, guys. So we take it 3-2 against Solomon Islands. And that is a massive victory for us. Very big game. Because that's now put us three points clear of New Caledonia with a game remaining against New Caledonia. And... um yeah, a very, very good victory for us. Jay Ingham got two goals. Man of the match, I would say, but I'd also... Sorry, that's also the phone in the background. Um, I just... Um, I'm going to have to take a... Take an answering machine on that. But yeah, let's look at the stats here. Jay Ingham, nine rating. I know Talil got a... Talai got a really good one, 8-3, so that's really good. Yeah, this was a really good performance all around for, for all the players, really. Really good performance. And we come away with a 3-2 win. So, that is huge. <laughs> and we are looking really good now on getting to that spot of Oceana. Here's all the you know, Ingham's performances. Cut Australia. Did a friendly against Paraguay. My mouse. I got a wireless mouse too, and it's. You know, you can see it's a bit dodgy. Kind of loses its traction, so I, I don't know if, if anyone has any things like that. That's just actually getting frustrating. Because also my uh, 
mouse pad is, is quite good. It's not the best, but okay, we're gonna have to get out of this. So, so that's it, guys, for this episode. So we get a three-two victory, and we are sitting really good in Group A. We got one game remaining against New Caledonia, and then the Solomon Islands will be playing New Caledonia. Group B, New Zealand. Vanuatu and Fiji, New Zealand's got two games remaining against each, so that's a massive game. August 30th, New Zealand, Fiji, that's a big game. We're going to keep an eye on that one. But our next game is, well, lo and behold, August 30th. Where is it? Group B. Yeah, New Zealand, August 30th. So we'll see what New Zealand do. And, um... Yeah, and see what uh, what happens there. So we'll come back for their final game against New Caledonia, guys, and uh, yeah, see where we stand in World Cup qualifying. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. We got a good win today, and uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying it, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.